A walking path at a local park is modeled on a grid below, where the length of each grid square is 10 feet. The town needs to submit paperwork to pave the walking path. Determine and state to the nearest square foot the area of the walking path. So in order for us to figure this out, we're going to have to um, break this up into sections. So we're going to do the easy part first. Let's, uh, in blue right here, let's figure out the area of that those rectangles. Okay, so let's see here. We have two, four, six, eight, nine squares, right? So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. So we're doing... 2 times 9, right? So those are just the rectangles. And then we are going to subtract out, okay, these squares, uh, these semicircles. So now we're going to figure out these semicircles. So we're going to figure out these semicircles. Now in order for us to do this, though, we are going to have to subtract the big semicircle by the little semicircle. So the big semicircle is going to be uh, one half of pi times r squared times three squared. That's the big semicircle. And then the small semicircle is one half pi uh, times, let's see, times two squared. And we're going to have to double this because we have the, uh, the same semicircles on both sides, right? So we have it on both sides. If you look at this, right, if I distribute the 2 through, I'll end up with pi 3 squared minus pi times 2 squared. So, and then going through the order of operation, 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5. I get 5 pi as a result of that. So, the total number of square grids, or those, um, all the, the area of the shaded region there, is going to be 18 plus 5 pi. But we're going to need to um, figure out what is the actual square footage uh, to the nearest square foot. So we're going to take 18 plus 5 pi and we're going to multiply this by uh, 10 because 1, so this represents uh, those square units. So 1 square unit is equivalent to how many square feet? Well, it's equivalent to 10 by 10 square feet, right? Because one of these little squares is 10 by 10, so that's 100 square feet. So we're gonna multiply 18 plus five pi, we're gonna multiply that by 100. So let's see what that is. We're gonna go to our calculator now so 18, so I'm going to put it in parentheses, 18 plus 5 pi times 100. And we're going to end up with 3370.79, or rounded to the nearest square foot, I believe it said, right? 3371. So this is going to be approximately 3371. Uh, let me just confirm whether or not we are around to the nearest square foot. Yes, we are. So this is our final answer then.